Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, JavaScript if-else statements will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. Logic conditions are used to perform different actions based on different decisions. Use else to specify a block of code to be executed if the same condition is false. As you can see here, we have the if statement here. So if this is false, then we'll go to the else if uh, uh, block if that's also false, then we can use else when that would execute everything else. That means that this is false, this is false, and this will be for everything else. As you can see, we'll be using the ojumboshop.com web IDE, which includes the editor here and then the output here, meaning they can compile your code for you. So you don't need to install JavaScript uh, or have a special IDE or text editor for to run this. JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. Server-side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside of a web browser. So let's begin. First, I'll create uh, some variables. Then we'll start with the if num5 is greater than num6. Then we'll console.log num5 is greater than num6. Then we have the else if num5 equals to num6 we we'll say num5 is num5 and num6 are equal and finally we can do else we we'll just put console.log num5 is not greater than num6. Now we can run compile this. You see it says num5 is not greater than num6. That's because this was false. Num5 is not greater than num6. This is false. Num5 is not equal to num6. So then else we run. You can get the full article at jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen if hyphen else hyphen statement. See here we have the a table created here for you for when to use the if, else, if, and else conditions. And then you can have the code snippet we used today. You can just expand this. This is just a screenshot. But what we did today, this is the video you're watching right now. If you want to learn JavaScript online at your own pace in a web browser, as you just saw, pretty simple. You just go to jumboshop.com. The links are in the description for the learning JavaScript course. If you prefer just to have the ebook by yourself, you can get it from Amazon. It's the learning JavaScript course. You just type for Edward Ojumbo. The links are in the description or here in the under references. See the learning JavaScript course is on jumboshop.com. You can get the learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And if you prefer one on one tutorials uh, online, at, uh, you can simply contact me at ojamboservices.com. Thank you.